<laughs> Good evening. Thank you so much for coming out. How you guys doing? Woo! Yeah. Oof. Look at how beautiful some of you are. Some of you. Let's not get crazy, sir. <laughs> Honestly, thank you so much for coming out. I, 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 I'm stunned when anyone shows. So Sunday night, kind of cold. This is beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, anybody here ever get the feeling they're being watched? Because I'm kind of getting that right now. You should be getting that too. <laughs> no. So I've been traveling a lot lately. Uh, last month I got down to New York City, and uh, I had forgotten how incredibly crowded that place is with people from all over the galaxy. Yeah, a lot of freaks. A lot of freaks. I, uh, I got down there, and I'm pretty sure I saw Darth Vader's girlfriend, right? Uh, covered all in black, walking towards me, breathing heavy. That. <sighs> And then I realized it was an Arab woman having an asthma attack. I felt mad. I said, I felt mad. But the, the sidewalk was so crowded that I had nowhere to move. I tried to scoot over and I ended up bumping into her. And I felt awful, so immediately I, I ma'am, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't mean to, you know, slam into you like that. From under the veil I hear, Don't worry, my friend, I am fine. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I've been in New York City 20 minutes. I've already found an Arab crossdresser. <laughs> you know how rare that is? It's like finding a unicorn. <laughs> or like a shy Puerto Rican girl. It just is. <laughs> and I dad you one thing. Yeah, I know. It's... <laughs> But uh, from New York City, I got to fly down to North Carolina, right? And on the flight, I had to use the bathroom, the broom closet, and um, they had a sign, and the sign read, uh, tampering with the smoke detector is a federal offense. And I thought, federal offense? Are you kidding me? Can you imagine being the guy that gets busted for that and has to go into prison and try to make that sound tough, right? <laughs> and it's not gonna work, because you know those other inmates are gonna ask. So, uh... What you in for, man? Um... Um, I was on an airplane, and I wanted to have a cigarette. Uh-huh. And so I went in the bathroom. Right. And I saw that they had the battery thing, and I took the batteries out, and I had a cigarette. Now I'm sitting here with you. Uh-huh. So, um, <clears throat> what are you in for? <laughs> I, uh, I ate my children. <laughs> you my new woman, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even put that there in my mouth. Isn't that awful? So what I'm getting at, people, is dating is hard. It's not easy. <laughs> uh, but no, really. <laughs> now, ladies, just, just yes, yell yes, yell yes or no, however you're feeling. Is it a huge deal when a guy cries after sex? Anyone? Just... <laughs> it shouldn't be a big deal. It shouldn't. And here's why. The two times that I've done it, all the other freaking prisoners made fun of me. And you know what? It's just not nice. But no, they really could change that uh, dating process, couldn't they? It's a little tough. It's, it's not easy to date. I think it should be more like a job interview, where the girl just hands over a resume and the guy starts, hmm... Interesting. So you, uh, you cook Asian cuisine. That's very impressive. Oh, and you speak Spanish. We like that. Mira, look at We like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, it says here you're incredibly flexible and you have a high pain tolerance. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I think we could really use someone like you here at Gonzonian Freaks Incorporated. <laughs> When can you start? <laughs> but unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. It's, it's way more difficult. I feel uh, if my resume was, if somebody was to read it, it would just say, he speaks Spanish and he can pay some of his bills, right? <laughs> Better luck next month, Verizon. <laughs> it's kind of the way it goes. <laughs> but uh, when women hear that I speak Spanish, automatically all of you are like, oh, Antonio Banderas. <laughs> right? Yeah, no, the Nason XB, right, right, yeah. <laughs> Ladies, when you're getting all Tony flags on me, that's the Nason XB, yeah. Oh, my darling, I want to unclog your sinuses. <laughs> it's like a horny Dracula, isn't it? It's a little bit. <laughs> 
But no, unfortunately, my family's from northern Mexico, right? It's like the Boston of Mexico. So it's a little more Spanish, it's a little more nasally. It's like, uh, ay, mira que bonita. I don't even want to sleep with that. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but no, um, when it comes to dating, right now my favorite thing on the planet, and I mean on the planet, is when a white girl dates a black guy. Yeah, yeah. Because inevitably, that little blonde, blue-eyed Bambi will blurt out something ballsy like, Oh, hell no! I told that bitch to step the hell out, because you know me, girl, I will cut a hoe. You know what I'm saying? And her friends are all like, Mandy, what are you doing? It's going to hurt your credit rating. <laughs> no, but it's the only place you see it. You never see like a girl dating an Asian guy all of a sudden be like, oh, I tell you, it's a problem. Take the problem with you, me. <laughs> you don't see a white girl dating an Indian guy all of a sudden, let me tell you, my friend, bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> Let's see my girl running around going, Hey, puto, I don't know what your problem is, but I'm going to stick you home. <laughs> Not entirely true. She has said that to me on occasion. <laughs> so I let her drive that night, yeah. <laughs> no, but um, uh, the last thing I have to tell you, and guys, we, any fellas in here, you'll, you'll back me up on this. Every guy in here has that one girl that got away. And I'm no exception. I, you know, you see me up here all funny and adorable, but I have that same... <laughs> I don't laugh at that. <laughs> right in here, you know, you, that one that you hide deep, right? And uh, for me, it was a Chinese girl, and she was wonderful. There was nothing I could have asked for better than her. But I blew it, and she went away, and, and you know what? I don't blame her. And to this day, right, it's been 10 years now, to this day, it still gets me. On the way here, I see, oh, because I see things and hear things all the time that remind me of her. And on the way here, David Bowie's China girl. <laughs> yeah. And it got me, it's 10 years, it's still, right, no. Oh. But she had a slow part at the end. And when I get excited, my little chatter girl, she says, Why all the time you want to put it in my ass? <laughs> Guys, that's my time. Thank you so very much for coming out. Appreciate it.